Hey people, Mark here, and I've got what I assume will be a short one today. The Vindication class light battleship is the only known UNSC ship of battleship class to ever be manufactured as far as we know. However, the designation of light battleship implies that there could at some point have been a heavy or regular battleship. If you like Halo ships, by the way, remember to subscribe because my channel has more ship breakdowns of any YouTube channel I checked. I have to ask that because, you know, I've got to play the game. Oh! forgot I'm supposed to do this. Uh, if you like my videos and you want to ease my pain from working less to make them, the, uh, the super thanks is down there. It'd be nice of you, but you don't have to do that. Alright, on with the video. If you're wondering why the ship looks a bit jank, the only canon images of it are from Mythos and from some models in the background of Halo 4 Spartan Ops, which were never meant to be seen up close. So at points, uh, I'll be using these sort of non-canon models from the people over at Sins of the Prophets, but uh, enough of their models have been made canon and used in the encyclopedia at this point that unless 343 says otherwise, their models are just canon to me. And it helps that they look really, really, really good. One of their models did get the amount of guns wrong in some spots, but we'll talk about that in the armament section. Sources are Mythos, Halo 4, and the encyclopedia. The Vindication class light battleship is 1,580 meters long, about 5,183 feet, and weighs 12 million tons. Manufactured by Martian shipyards in 2554, a year after the war, the ship is very powerful, utilizing all the tech innovations we've come to expect of post-war human ships. The silhouette of this ship falls into a few common ship profiles that the UNSC is fond of. There's the flying brick, the gun with thrusters, and the flat top jut bottom. The Vindication class falls into this category alongside the Epoch class, the Phoenix class, the Orion class, and sort of the Halberd class, defined by their design features of a flat top and a bunch of shit sticking out of the bottom, be they antenna weaponry or habitable sections. We know from this rare sighting of one in the wild they are incapable of launching from high gravity planets on their own. This one is leaving Earth with similar detachable thrusters that we saw on the Pillar of Autumn as it escaped reach. The battleship is very powerful and probably extremely durable. On top of its Titanium A armor, the Vindication class is equipped with energy shielding, which would no doubt aid it in its main objective as a ship killer made for the sole purpose of dealing devastating blows to the most powerful enemies they would encounter. The prey of the Vindication class is specifically stated to be Covenant carriers, like the Shadow of Intent or the Enduring Conviction, and their escorts like the various cruisers the Covenant employs. In terms of point defense, the ship isn't lacking, but it is sort of run-of-the-mill. Four M60 Sentry Naval Autocannons and 20 M910 Rampart Point Defense Guns. Now I believe I talked about the Ramparts in my Spirit of Fire breakdown, click up here in the top right for that video too, but the paraphrased version is that the M910 is the most powerful iteration of the weapon systems, replacing the previous m 8 70, which replaces the earlier M800s. 50 M58 Archer Missile Pods. As I said in that same video, I don't know how these are significantly different from the M42s, and it's not like they replaced them in prevalence either. The Infinity has 350 M42 Archer Missile Pods, but the Gladius class Corvette uses M58s, and that one was built in 2490. The Autumn class, which would have begun production after the Infinity was already being built, uses M58s. I know that no military in history has only ever manufactured one type of missile for use across their entire military military, but I'm just pointing out we really don't know the differences in functionality these missiles have, and that goes for the majority of naval weapons in Halo, honestly. The main armament of the Vindication class, and the feature that allows it to tango with such powerful Covenant ships, is its massive Mark 10 76 G3 V5 Super Heavy Mech Battery. I believe this is implied to be the most powerful Mac humanity's ever made. It would make sense with the naming convention disregarding the awkwardly named Series 8 Max on the Infinity. The reason the name is awkward is because all the Macs up until that point and after them have a number and a letter designation and a specific mark denoting the power of the weapon. Mark II Max appear to be designated as light coil, whereas Mark IV, V, and IX are specifically referred to as heavy coil, with Mark V orbital defense platform guns at reach being taken a step further further referred to as Super Heavy Max, as well as these new Mark 10s. And so you can see why the name Series 8 is so awkward. The known Max in order are Mark 2, Mark 4, Mark 5, Series 8, Mark 9, and Mark 10. I can't be the only one bothered by this. Anyway, these big ass Max are presumably the most powerful Max ever manufactured, slapped on a ship with one and a half appearances in lore. 
weird choice. One can assume that certain Covenant ships like the CCS-class cruiser would be paltry fodder to this thing if it lines up correctly. We've seen what a light coil mech can do to one of those in two shots. I do wonder about the carriers though, as its purpose as a carrier hunter implies that with at least less effort than most ships, the Vindication can put them down, so would it take the two shots in the battery or one? Would you need to fire off both rounds, then reload and fire another? I mean, it probably depends on where you hit the enemy ship, but still. I guess we'll never know unless they bring this thing back, but I have a feeling if the CSO-class supercarrier was hit by it right in its spindly little neck, it would probably crumble. The most notable weakness of the Vindication class is that on the Halo ship schoolyard, all the cooler ships make fun of it for having a low poly count. Other than that, the long reload time for the huge max means that without an escort, this ship is just the north side of useless. That said, after having made the video on the banished dreadnought, the long range capability of a powerful mech would have come in handy if they weren't caught by surprise. If you wanted to take on a Vindication class, or more accurately, a fleet carrying one, I'd say a large target like a Covenant carrier might not be the way to go unless you kept it out of the effective range, assuming you know the specifications. You could send in something small and fast like a Suter Pattern or a Hecarta, maybe a Banished Carve or a Jackal Intrusion Corvette even. You're going to need a lot of them, especially if they have any Stridents or older frigates or if they see you coming and they have anlaces, if they see you coming and they have mulsans, god forbid if they have any autumn classes in their fucking fleet, you're, you're not gonna be getting in there. Or if they have <coughs> the infinity. An interesting ship that could be a surefire way to kill one of these would be a Drakar stealth ship that the Banished have. We haven't seen these like in action yet, we just know that they have them. Things you might have in large quantities and aren't afraid to lose because let's be honest, if you're the fleet master of a Covenant battle group, you probably don't give a shit about your troops' lives. Well, except for the goaded shipmaster himself. You are the Arbiter, the will of the Prophets. But these are my elites. Their lives matter to me, yours does not. That makes two of us. Well, that's uh, pretty much it. I felt like doing an obscure, weirder one today. I can't do what I usually do and say I like it, but I don't exactly dislike it either. It's a weird ship that doesn't ever really do anything. That can be chalked up to both Bungie and 343, never focusing on naval stuff as we've talked about in the past. But yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Subscribe for more um, great content like this. For some better videos, here are my Spirit of Fire and Autumn Class breakdowns. Uh, 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 follow me on Twitch. Bye-bye.